Hi friends, I am Sai Jatanya. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I'll be talking about the display of the Mi 10i device. So the phone has been recently launched in India for the price of 21,000 and for the 21,000, uh, what you are getting with the display. So I'll be talking about all the things about the display refresh rate and touch sampling rate and the adaptive uh, refresh rate and even the white uh, L1 certified or not, uh, HDR10 and HDR10 plus certified, all the things related to the display I'll cover in this entire video video friends and I'll give you the some of the tips and tricks as well how you can actually improve the display of this Mi 10i smartphone. So let's get started friends and uh, do let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about the Mi 10i device and in case if you are interested in different different tests of this Mi 10i device so make sure to check the links in description for the playlist of the Mi 10i and make sure to subscribe friends so please uh, subscribe to my channel and also kindly increase my subscriber count uh, to 100k as soon as possible. So let's get started with the display uh, first thing I'll try to talk about the display properties so for the 21,000 uh, so close to 20,000 triple nine rupees so in in terms of the display I didn't find uh, not even single point uh, which is a uh unique in this uh, phone so frankly I, I am trying to speak friends because I do have the other phones like uh, Poco X3 device and other Redmi phones and the Poco M2 Pro as well and so many other uh, devices from the mid-range segment mobile phones and when I compare this uh, 21,000 rupees mobile phone with the mid-range segment mobile phone in terms of the display I didn't find anything special about this phone so there is not even one particular thing uh, that is unique about this device so everything is same uh, if you compare with the Poco X3 or or maybe even the Poco M2 Pro as well. I did a display comparison test uh, comparing both phones. So in terms of the specification, 6.61 inches screen size, IPS LCD panel display, 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate. So which is the same kind of specifications which is present in the Poco X3 smartphone. And the Mi 10i phone supports the HDR10 uh, certified. So I, I've already done a YouTube uh, testing as well, friends. Or so make sure to check this video in case if you want to know YouTube HDR, HDR uh, support test or not. So that video will be giving you a quick idea. So that's why I'm trying to advise all the users who are planning to buy this phone. Make sure to watch the each and every video. You can decide whether to buy this phone or not, friends. So uh, right now I did speak about the white L1 certified as well. So let me do quickly uh, show you the application which is a DRM info. So this is the application which is uh, used uh, used to check whether the phone is actually supported with the Netflix HD or not. So you can see, friends, the security level is uh, L1 certified. So the phone is uh, successfully uh, will be supporting the Netflix HD or HD and the, even the Amazon Prime HD as well so without any issues so we got to know the hardware or uh, point of uh, view of the Mi 10i device so now let's dig into the software thing so these were uh, the things are really interesting in in this mobile phone not only in this in this kind of uh, uh, Mi UI 12 interface friends so which I particularly I started to like from the Poco X3 uh, phone so from the moment I'm started to use the Poco X3 I started to use uh, this kind of different different tips and tricks how to increase the display and all those things so the main reason why the software will be uh, so much helpful because the phone has a IPS LCD panels so you're not getting any AMOLED panel for this kind of 21,000 rupees so IPS LCD panel so definitely you need to have this kind of software optimization in the phone to experience very good uh, wide and saturated and contrast colors so if you go to the settings so let me quickly uh, go to the display and under the color scheme you do have different uh, three options under the standard and the auto as you can see so these are the basic options which everyone knows but there are some hidden options uh, if you go to the additional settings and quickly go uh, not the additional settings, go to the special features and go to the video toolbox so you need to try to enable the video uh, applications here so just give the permission for the mx player or any other video player uh, what you are using maybe youtube or any other application the reason why i am saying is that the video toolbox is a very good small uh, tool which is really useful and let me try to quickly open the mx player right now and demonstrate you uh, what is the use of this uh, one as well so make sure to subscribe to my channel friends for more this kind of interesting uh, videos which i'll be doing in my channel so let me try to quickly play the video and this is the mx player which i opened and uh, 
if you add the MX player as a video toolbox, you will get this kind of small pop-up window. So here I won't be going into any uh, in-depth uh, features. I'll try to cover that in another video. So in this video, we'll be only focusing on the display um, things, how you can actually increase the colors and everything. So here you do have the option of uh, changing the color. So let me try to change here. Yeah, this is a style. So if you click on the style, you have these five different modes. So first is a normal mode, so which you you uh, I will not uh, I will not even count. So total there are four modes. So outdoor cinematic mode and the retro mode and the black and white mode. So there are four different modes which are available in the video toolbox option. So which is quite a uh, very useful uh, feature, friends. In my opinion, I would say definitely. So some people, if you want to watch in black and white mode. You can straight away watch just by clicking one button. So if you are using the Wikipedia, you can just uh, straight away select the black and white if you, are re if you are reading the Wikipedia. So in this way, you can select different different applications for different different black and white effect. So these are one way of uh, increasing the colors uh, by using this uh, video toolbox option. So where it seems to be working a lot better. So in terms of the hardware, there's nothing special. In terms of the software, there's something special. But that special is also found in the Poco X3. So that is where I'm coming friends for the 21,000 is it worth or not. So uh, at the moment I don't think it's worth according to the hardware or according to the software. So let me even show you another uh, software trick how you can do that. So there is a uh, video enhancement uh, feature which is present in this phone. So if you don't know how to enable that uh, video enhancement feature. So make sure to check the links in description if uh, how to do that. So that video enhancement uh, feature will be having uh, the special properties like increasing the lot of colors. So just try to observe the colors friends right now. So let me try to, I selected the zero. So saturated and bright as you can see. So this is another uh, game turbo uh, feature which is inbuilt in the phone. So where you can use this kind of feature to increase the colors. So uh, there will be huge impact in terms of the color increasing. So uh, trust me friends, when I say huge, that's a huge. You may not be noticing in the camera, but uh, maybe if you watch personally, you will be feeling a lot different. So all this comes up to uh, making the improving the display using the just the software thing, not the hardware thing. So just the software thing. So only with the software thing, you may not be improve much colors. So uh, at least you got some options here. So all friends, my final thoughts about this device regarding the display. Uh, is it worth to buy for the 21,000 just for the display? I would say no, because you are getting 120 hertz in 120 hertz in the Poco X3. Maybe if the phone comes with a 144 hertz, the things might be really different. I would really recommend this phone if the phone has 144 hertz. So I would highly, highly recommend, but that's not the case. Unfortunately, we are getting only with 120 hertz. So uh, you have so many other options in the mid-range segment mobile phones, Poco X2 and Poco X3 with the 120 hertz. So uh, there is no point at all buying the phone for the display. So uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to cover each and every topic. So this video is for the display. Next video will be for the build quality. Next one for the camera. Next one for the battery. Next one for the processor. I'll try to uh, do all these videos so you will be able to understand and differentiate the um, phones from other mid-range segment mobile phones. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope uh, this video will be giving you a quick clarity about the complete in-depth review of this MI 10i A to Z, all the details and all these reviews are my honest reviews friends because none of the companies are uh, sponsoring me. So all these phones which are buy bought with my own money. So I don't have any love to any company. So I, I'll just uh, say my uh, all uh, usage of this phone after using for 25 days or close to one month. This is my complete experience about this device. So thank you friends for watching this video. See you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.